Hi there and welcome back. This is uh, another planner video. I've just got a few things that I need to uh, put on my PC screen that I need to um, add to uh, the planner and there's been some changes to this week so I need to go back into what I've already put and cover cover it up. So thought this was pretty interesting because um, I've seen a few people say um, you know they don't want to write on journals and planners because um, <clears throat> they don't want to you know make a mistake get something wrong and then it look uh, messy and um, you know there's really no need to to feel like that because everything can be um, changed you know you can cover anything um so <clears throat> and then there's things that i also need to add but i'm going to do a second video and i'm going to try and get as forward as i can because this just working the week before uh isn't isn't working for me at all i need to be uh further further along so um Things changed here, so I was going to the Trentham Garden Centre on Friday, we ended up going on Monday, which made that I didn't do the Patreon draw, didn't do the live video, um, which I've done on the Tuesday, which then meant I didn't do the orders in the post office, which is then going to have to go, go to there, so yeah, should I put a whole strip down the whole thing? Um, now I've got some of this uh, craft masking tape. I'm wondering um, if you can write over this. That's um. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Sure, <laughs> dear me. Oh, that blew my head off. Right? Can you? Yeah, you can write on that. Fine. So I might have to put a few of these all over just so it it looks. Um, you know okay that it's just not me coming in with tape um making changes which i don't mind that part but obviously i want it still to look look nice now you can see see through that lot so that's not going to be um an option that's a shame but yeah, so you might be able to get some kind of tape that you can put over the top. Um, I've got this which came on a roll. Um, so I'm thinking let's rip some of this down, which I'll have to glue glue in it. So the boxes are about there. Then rip that down. There. Yeah, so that will go over fine. You can slightly see under that, but that's fine. So that can go there. Um, that can go there. Um, shall I use a different paper? No, I'm going to stick with this one. I think colour-wise it goes, it goes nice. Where's the number for that one there? Hmm. Covering that up as well, aren't I? I mean, I could obviously write the number um, back in. That looks okay there. Yeah. I might write the three back in. And... I'm going to pop that there. So let me, um, I'm going to pop a bit of ink uh, around it. So I think this is what's going to happen. I mean, unless I write in pencil so I can then uh, rub it out, um, you know, that's that's an option. But um, I, one, I think pencil can be hard to uh, read when your eyesight's not great so and I don't think it looks that that attractive 
so I do want to carry on writing in the pen um, I do have some of the the friction pens <laughs> that you can rub out but you have to be really careful with them because um, you know if you rub too hard and like it, it rips the paper so I think that's taking a bit of a uh, a bit of a risk so and I'm enjoying writing uh, with these cartridge pens uh, fountain pens so yeah I'm gonna carry carry on with them and um, yeah if I need to cover something over then um, I'll just have to to cover it over and up to yeah I don't think it looks looks too bad back then if I think back to me schoolwork when I used to do something wrong and just you know scribble um, on it and it does look better than than that and like I say colour wise it, it goes pretty well so I need to write the third uh, back end So yeah, that one really change of plan <laughs> ended up changing uh, three three days. So this is the third. Okay, and we went to. So oh, it's we're still Denise's birthday. Did uh, her birthday didn't change? <laughs> oh yes, and we changed her birthday. Oh dear me, Denise's birthday. I've now gone on to the other line, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah, it was my auntie's um, 60th birthday. So, I mean, I knew it was a birthday, but um, the going to Trenton was a bit casual. And then when I realised it was a 60th, she never said. Um, I said, oh, we'll go on the Monday. And she knew, knew that I'd not been very well. And she was like, well, you know, I don't want, I want you to be you know, recovered, and I was like, no, no, we'll go. So, yeah, we ended up going um, Monday, and we took my uh, middle granddaughter, and Eleanor came. So, that's Wednesday, uh, Monday. So, Tuesday, today, I've done, now, I was going to do a live video on Facebook with a Patreon draw, but um, I don't know if I need to do something with my new phone to make it do a live, but I couldn't get it to do a live. So I've just put a video up on uh, YouTube and um, I've put like a, an update to, to things and stuff. So um, Patreon draw and that's it really. Still going to Eden Hall. Um, and then Friday obviously wants to be uh, covered covered over. I don't know where that piece went, I must have used it um, on that. Yeah, that can go, go there. So that's that covered up. So I thought as well it's better than, because at first I thought, shall I just put a line to there and an arrow? And I thought, oof, that's, um, you know, not very great to, to look at. So that's, that's that changed. Okay. Still need to do my thing for my therapy. Um, that's fine. That's for later on. Right, here I've um, changed, ah, because I was sending, um, I need to go to the post office, don't I? Um, so I need to do orders, post office, and shopping. So I was going to send the Patreon um, happy mail on Tuesday, but I've um, been in Patreon and moved the tiers around and uh, changed certain dates. I do things. So, so I don't get mixed up. I'm going to write um, them on here. So let's um, let's have a have a look. What change things to? I'm going to pause for a sec. Okay, I've just wrote wrote that down. So on the first of uh, 
the month the first day of the month which was uh the saturday um i put the uh patreon freebies up and i also put the the facebook freebies up okay so <clears throat> the first monday which would have been there do the patreon giveaway draw um the second wednesday which will be this one um do happy mail so patreon happy mail Ooh. Um, so that's the set, and then the last Saturday, I'm going to start uh putting an exclusive video up um in in Patreon. So, Patreon video, okay? So that's uh that. So, I'm gonna pop that there, so I'm gonna call that dates. okay so that can go there um i've got some other things to add what's this come here oh yes um so the 11th of january i've got parents evening it's online uh, so i've got parents evening 3.45 till 5pm. That's that. I've said about the Happy Mail. Um, I don't think I've got room. I'm going to use another card. So <coughs> this month's Happy Mail so I know. And I don't have to like go back into Patreon and have a look. So Happy Mail. Jan. Uh, <coughs> you are is I need to send Jenny Carlo and Edith Kirk okay <clears throat> so I can pop that in there okie dokie so that's that that piece of paper can go now I did do um <coughs> A video and I said something and I said oh, I'm gonna write that uh, down because it was something that I'd never uh, thought of before so another channel may be hosting uh, one of the Tatty Treasure and Facebook friends uh, challenges so I think that's gonna be um, an, an idea um, and I know I'm doing next month. I think Denise is doing the month after or Tiffany. And then it will be either Denise or Tiffany there. So May will be Kelly. So maybe in June, um, somebody <coughs> might do a little, you know, if there's a few people that, that are interested in, in hosting uh, one, um, you'll obviously have to have a rough idea of um, how how we do them and stuff if you've joined <coughs> in with the challenges before um so yeah maybe for for june i think that would you know we could have a well, it depends how many people are interested but um if there was just a few i don't know could either just pick one out or they could all have a separate month so yeah i want to remember um that idea so for now i'm going to keep that um in there now I've got some future uh, dates and that's going to be uh, a bit of a problem really in here because I wish I'd have left more room at the beginning of the journal because where do I put these things? So I'm either going to have to, you know, as I can see, the month takes up two, four, six pages. So one two three which is six 
So in theory, this should be March, shouldn't it? So I think I've got, um, I think Nanny's other planner kit has got all the months in. So if it has, I'm going to print that out and I'm going to count all the pages and put a paper clip in, put the month under and then anything that comes up, um, I can put a sticky note in. But for now, um, I'm getting involved with um, <coughs> uh, Mandy um, from our Facebook group. Now, Mandy has a blog um, and when I uh, do this challenge with her, um, you know, I'll say more about the blog, etc. Um, and she does some like postcards um, and they've got to be on what did she say the postcards have got to be did she say four by six yeah six by four so i've put my name down for enchanted inspired and jingle bells so in april i'm doing enchanted in august i'm doing inspired and in December, I'm doing Jingle Bells. Um, and I think, I think that she said, because I'm, I'm wondering if, you know, I might do, make them into bits, bit of a challenge on, on the group, because I thought it would be something, something different. So, I said, do I start it on the 17th? And does it have to be on the 24th? What is it? Okay, so it needs to be in the week before. Right, so. 17th of April is Enchanted. So she had all, um, you know, like 52 different um, words. And um, you just picked, picked what what word you want to do and um, 7th of August and then I said I wanted him you know about three months um, gap in between and then um, yeah it's pretty you know casual um, you can do it with any medium um, you know, you can interpret this this however the word however you want. Sorry, my mind had just gone blank. So that's jingle bells. So they're the dates that it wants to be in. So this one, really, the challenge would want going up on. And this is why I need to get in front because it's like, well, how can I plan for these for these things? So really, this needs this is Sunday. I'm guessing they're all Sundays then. Sunday. So this really wants to start on the third. If you know, if people wanted to join in, and then the next one is August. And that's August the 7th, which is a Sunday, yeah. So it would be, oh, 24th of July. That's the day before my birthday. 24th of July. I best right now because obviously when you get on to different months. And December 1, <laughs> nobody wants to talk about December, do they? Yeah, uh, would be the 4th of December. Okay, so yeah, more more to come um, on that, but obviously I wanted to get that uh, wrote down. So this is telling me that I need some kind of of pocket in in here. Um, but I'm just thinking how I could do a flip because there's not much much room there. I mean, for now that's fine and the stick's fine, but um, I'm sure it won't be fine. So they was those changes, and then obviously this is now wrong. This is wrong. 
and this is wrong. So I'm going to have to <coughs> um, cover those up and I've got this um, paper here. I don't think I'm going to keep the day planner in but I'm going to keep the actual day planner because I might use that for something, something else. So let's see. Yep. This pad was from um, Tiger. We have one in Nottingham. And when I do go in Nottingham, and I always do nip in the, <laughs> they do have some nice different stationery uh, bits, and they're pretty reasonable. So. That's that. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna tear this back, tear across there, and then I will ink that up, stick it, stick it on. Um, I'll keep all the bits of checked in my um, <coughs> collage folder. Yeah. I bought this because I thought, oh, I could write on this when I needed to make notes to to put them put them in here. But then I thought, well, I've got millions of sticky notes, which is you know the way that I used to write myself notes and put them everywhere and not know where they are. So at least now, yeah, I'm still using the sticky notes, but I know where where they are. It's just how long they're gonna stay stay stuck. But I suppose I could put a clip on on them all, clip them together. So let's do that. Yeah, that's fine. So you know that does not look out of place. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I'd rather not be doing it, but it's not ruined it in any shape or form. So the message is just write in these beautiful books that you make and you buy and use them because that's, you know, that's what you've made them for or, or what you've bought them um, for. And it, it's such a shame um, that, that you're not... Um, using them and um, I've said this story before but um, I'm going to say it again so I used to collect candles I've probably collected them from being a teenager and um, never lit them and I could never understand people who did li light them I thought how wasteful um, you know lighting that candle until I realised that all my candles had actually gone so dusty um, because I had some like ice cream uh, ones and all the dust had, you know, got its way in there and um, I couldn't clean them properly and they started to, they'd lost the colour, they'd lost the smell and then what did I have to do? I had to throw them in the bin. So I never ever got to smell what those candles smelled like. Yes, I got to look at them, um, but... You know, and since then, it has made me, if you've got a candle, light it. Whatever you've got, you've, you know, you've bought it for a reason. So, so use it. And yeah, sometimes, you know, we might buy something and want to look at it for, for so many months. But then, um, you know, you need to move, you know, move it, move it on. It's same as if, if you have got a new journal, you might just take pleasure for so long, just flicking, flicking through it. Um, it's like if I buy... A new book um you know to cut up but um yeah i want it for so long because I, I want to look at it um i want to get to know it um and then you know you put it back down and you know then you've not touched it for a few months and that and it's like well now i can use it for what for its purpose um so yeah that's um <laughs> that's my bit of bit of worldly advice so i'm not going to do the writing on on here because i've obviously just done them on the calendar 
um, but I just like I say wanted to show you that um, it, it's not a big a big deal and we've got lots of different papers and that what we could uh, cover it up you know if I'd have wanted to I could have done a whole collage um, over the top and then put a plain piece of paper uh, to re rewrite on um, so there there we have it so there will be a part two uh, later which will be me whizzing through the rest of the month um, and then off screen I am going to well first I need to see if I've got those monthly um, ones and then I'm going to go through and get some paper clips in and get the the month in so I kind of know where where the month's going to uh, be in the book plus that will tell me how long this is going to last but it may last me longer but it may get too chunky that I don't I don't get as far as um the pages allow me kind of thing because I'm wondering how chunky um it will it will get so I'm going thank you for joining me I hope that um you've taken something from this video or if you haven't i hope you've just enjoyed hearing me just waffling waffling on right <laughs> see you soon bye